Howdy folks, General back to you. I'm showing you my my sign system. All these are paper plates that I've, I've cut out for my doing my wash. There's a wash is completed in the dryer and is ready to fold. Start washer. All chemicals are in. Now here's a cool one here. Restart dryer at. And it's got a, a wheel underneath it. Where you can, if you're doing your drying and you have to stop the thing so you can leave, and you don't want to ever leave the dryer running, and you're not at home. Because it could, something other could happen, burn it, get all that lint back there on fire, and burn your house down. So always close, uh, turn off your dryer about 10 minutes before you leave. And uh, set you up this, this is what it looks like on the back. Just one of those paper keys. That way it position it up so it'll come up in the little window. Restart dryer at 40 minutes. Put wash in the dryer. This is the different... Uh, Things that you would have, you know, if you were uh, doing laundry and just uh, put it in there and let her eat, you know. Change settings back to normal if you're on your washing machine. That if you're, uh, uh, if you've got a certain setting you like to keep it on, like mine is. Uh, Uh, of course, your first one is whatever size load that you got, but I always keep mine there on warm, warm wash and cold rinse. So if you if you change that, the sign when you do change it, put the sign up, and then uh, that reminds you to put it back. Well, see, I got everything out here. Change the setting. Well, see, that's going to stand out. Change the setting back to normal on the washing machine. And once you do that, take it down. And this is just magnets stuck, stuck on there with uh, packaging tape. And that's just the center of a uh, paper plate cut out. Turn dryer back on high. If you change that right there to knits low. Put that up there like that. And if you wonder, these are for hats. They're paint buckets. Turns out the top of my head is, or my head size, is the same size as a gallon bucket, or a gallon paint bucket. And put wash in the machine. Restart washing machine. So this one right here that I was showing you first, I've got to, now that's going to stand out, see. You wouldn't want to put it just on something flat because it, it won't show up that much.
but you put it up there where you, where it's breaking lines, it kind of frames it frames it up more. And all that is is a paper plate. See? You just cut that ring off the paper plate and then uh, take you a magnet or two and uh, use packaging tape, tape it on there. And I laminated this one with packaging tape. See it shine? Real easy to use. And then when you're, uh, see I've got a little stack of paper plates and I separate them out and so I don't take dust into the uh, cooking area. I've got a paper plate that I leave on top of it as a dust cover. All right. Y'all like and subscribe, hit the bell, make comments, and it's general. I'm out.